This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment and educational purposes only, and anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decisions based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff so you get the videos I put them out. So you don't think and see me analyzing that data, but like I tell every day, the data release us is false. When it gives a false narrative of the markets, we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, the bad actors, the hedgies, the shorters, they are still in deep trouble. And as long as a majority of retail investors haven't sold, they're going to stay in trouble. Okay? I want y'all to understand something. The cost to borrow is 991%. And somebody's borrowing 1.4 million shares. 1.4 million shares at 991%. I want you to think about that for a second. We had a 10 to 1 reverse split. And for six trading days, there were no shares available to short. Somehow today, they found 1.4 million shares. So without the reverse split, they would have 14 million shares available to short. 14 million shares available to short. When for six trading days, there was zero shares available to short. Where did these shares come from? And we're still on the threshold list. We're like 45 days on the threshold list. We had a 10 to 1 reverse split. The cost of borrow is still almost a thousand percent. And somehow this morning, they found 1.4 million shares available to short. When I tell you that they are still in trouble, they are still in trouble. It's what I said a long time ago. They created so many counterfeit shares that the 10 to 1 reverse split does not save them. It takes a little pressure off them, but it doesn't save them because they created so many counterfeit shares. All the market makers weren't calling the other market makers and saying that they loaned the entire float out. So you probably have four or five market makers who, who, who by themselves loaned the entire float. Bottom line is this. The yes vote, voters thesis was if we get the reverse split, there'll be less shares available for them to borrow and then they'll be forced to close their short positions. Well, yes voters, y'all got the reverse split and now there's more shares available to borrow. There are more shares available to borrow after the reverse split that was supposed to make it make less shares available. Can somebody please explain that to me? Yo, bottom line is this. We're still in, and I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell AMC. I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell Ape. I'm telling you, we are still in squeeze territory as far as I'm concerned. That is my personal opinion. Anyway, please leave some comments. If we're supposed to have less shares available to short because of the 10 to 1 reverse split. Why is there 1.4 million shares available to short the day after we do a reverse split when for six days there were no shares available to short? Anyway, have a great day. God bless and I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.